PTK supports several message dialogs. So if we open the code, uh, we're going to create an error dialog. So first create a variable, then we're going to say gtk.message dialog. Um, inside the class, it's going to be destroyed when the when you close the program. So type destroy with parent. Then uh, the type of, of message that should appear because you have error messages, OK messages, question messages, and so on. So we want an error uh, dialog. Then uh, the types of buttons that should appear. So we just want a close button to, to be shown. And finally your message. Now you can show it using md.run so if obviously you called your variable md message dialog or maybe you call it something else now you can run it and it tells uh, an error because um, we made a typo so run it and you'll see we get an error dialog that might look different on on a windows machine um, but this is a linux machine so the error dialog looks like this and you can also create question dialogs so let's turn this into a question dialog uh, so instead of error we're simply going to type question and the question will be a yes no question so change this into yes no and change your message. Now, when we run this, we get a yes no dialog, but regardless of whether we press yes or no, nothing happens. So let's change that. Uh, we can simply type uh, response. So the dot run function actually returns a value, and this value is either yes or no because that's what the questions buttons we put there so we can type if response is equal to gtk dot response yes then yes press well whatever logic you want to do otherwise uh, no is pressed now we can run it and depending on whether we press yes or no the different code is executed so if we press no, the no code is executed. Um, and as I mentioned, there's like different types of buttons. So you have the OK button. Uh, so you change this button to OK. You've got a cancel button, close. You've got an OK cancel button, which you might have seen. So let's turn the dialog into an information dialog. So instead of question, we're going to type info and change the text into something else and as I mentioned there's different buttons so we have an OK and a cancel button now now if we run it we got a different type of dialog, an information dialog with a cancel and OK button so if we press OK, OK was pressed. And if we restart it and press console instead, see that console is pressed. So this is how you'd work it with uh, message dialogues in PyGTK.